I had my first injection of testosterone last Wednesday. When the needle got out, I was like, how, I'm sorry, how big? It's a very thick uh, liquid, so it went in pretty slowly. I got extreme muscle pains. I, I got a little bit of hair loss. Hey, so <laughs> again, this is probably going to be a, a short video because I'm feeling a bit under the weather. And at first I thought it was because of the flu, because the school where I work, half of the children and colleagues had, had the flu and I didn't, so I thought it was the flu, but it didn't really feel like the flu. It felt like a bit under the weather, a bit like, um, yeah, I don't know, just a bit fluish. <laughs> I don't know how to how to say that differently. But then I thought, hmm, could also just be some of the effects of testosterone. Because I had my first injection of testosterone last Wednesday. Now I've been on testosterone for one and a half year now, um, but I switched from gel to injections. I explained that in a different video, why I did that. I did got a question about why I switched to once every three weeks instead of once every three months. And the main reason for that is that I can do the injections myself because the ones every three months needs to be in your butt muscle and I can't do that myself. Now, with the full intention going for the first appointment, taking my first injection and my f fully intention was to do it myself. Now I got there at the doctor's office and the assistant uh, explained everything. She was very nice and yeah, when, it, when the needle got out, I was like, how, I'm sorry, how big? This big? And it's, it's, it's a pretty big needle. And she was like, yeah, I'm just going to explain and then you can do it yourself. And I was very confident. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Yes, okay, okay. And then the other assistant asked me, are you okay or are you a bit scared? And I was like, mm, yeah, now that the needle comes closer, I'm like a bit scared. I also was like, I don't know if I will be able to do this myself. And she was just very calm and she said like, I can do it the first time and then next time you come in the office again and then you do it by yourself. So you can just sit back, relax now and see how the injection goes in. And then next time, if it feels good for you, you can do it yourself. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> because I was like, it didn't really hurt or anything, the injection, but just the point of where you, you have to put like a needle this big in, in your leg is like, that's kind of a, a boundary, boundary to cross. I think normally if, if she wouldn't have asked me, like, are you a bit scared or are you a bit excited for it or, or a bit frightened, then I, I would, I would have gone with it. I would just, I, I, I would, set my emotions and feelings aside and just go for it. But when she asked, I was like, yeah, it might feel more comfortable to, to not do it myself the first time. It's a very thick uh, liquid, so it went in pretty slowly and I could feel it. And I believe um, one tip I got was to, to warm it up a bit before you, you get it in your body. And I think it was a bit cold. So the days after, I got extreme muscle pains. It was, I couldn't even stand on my leg for when I just got up, it was just like, oh. and I hope that is only the first or second time that happens and I, my body get, gets used to it, but it was, it was like extremely painful and like muscle, muscle aches, muscle pain, but then like, heavy muscle muscle pains and it's still i mean it's now sunday and i had the injection on wednesday it still hurts a bit so i hope that with warming up the liquid next time and injecting it slowly more slowly and getting used to it i hope the pain will be less next time emotional things feelings physical changes or physical effects I honestly don't know because I just sat the, I just had the injection. Um, but what I did feel was kind of fluish. And I don't know if that is the flu because it goes around uh, with people in my 
close environment or uh, that it is the effect of testosterone. I'm feeling much better. Yesterday it was like I was like a, a uh, just tired and just I laid on the couch the whole day. I made a puzzle and I didn't do anything else. I couldn't do anything else. And um, but yeah, it could be the testosterone because you get an extreme boost at the beginning of the injection and then it gradually slows down of uh, uh, lowers. But mm, I don't know. Could be a combination. Another thing is yeah, that is what I noticed this morning. I was I was washing my hair and I only wash my hair like once every week and I, I got a little bit of hair loss uh, more than normal and again that could also be stress it could also be anything else but it was just something I noticed and um, yeah hopefully it's not the effects of testosterone it will eventually be the effects of testosterone I know but um, Hopefully it won't go that quick. And that is basically it. It was just, I didn't expect the muscle pains to be that, that strong, that intense. And the last thing, I'm just happy that I don't have to put the gel on every morning. It, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's much more easy. So that is going to conclude the video of this week. I am going to put on a nice warm sweater and going to finish my puzzle and just going to do nothing the rest of the day besides editing this video, but I'm not going to do anything else. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, just uh, put a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.